History, Wikipedia Article Audio The site of the Kuala Lumpur city centre was Rasha al Khalaf, historically part of an affluent suburban residential area north of the old Kuala Lumpur town, linked to the town via Ampang Road and populated by bungalows and mansions dating as far back as the colonial early 20th century. The centrepiece of the area was the original site of the Selangor Turf Club, with many houses constructed around the site to capitalize on views of the racing course. As large-scale development moved northwards from old Kuala Lumpur town after the 1950s, development of the area gradually shifted from low-density residential homes to high-density commercial complexes and offices, raising the appeal of developing the suburb into a new commercial center for Kuala Lumpur. In 1988, the Selangor Turf Club site and adjoining residential parcels were sold to be cleared away for the KLCC project. The Turf Club was subsequently relocated to Serdang. In the subsequent years after the relocation of the Turf Club, more surrounding residential plots were acquired for further development of the KLCC. Evan is a 100-acre land area with mixed developments and various stages of construction. The area is divided into several plots of land each with a specific purpose. Zoning is based on the KLCC master plan. Offices in the KLCC area are homes to the largest companies in Malaysia in which the Petronas Twin Towers is the centerpiece. Constructed from January 1, 1992 until December 31, 1994, the Petronas Twin Towers were the tallest buildings in the world from January 1, 1998 to December 31, 2004. Currently, it still holds the record for the tallest twin buildings in the world. It is the headquarters of Petronas, a Fortune 100 state-owned oil company and also the largest company in Southeast Asia. The towers in the mall below were designed by Argentinian-born architects Kaiser Pelli. Construction started in 1991 and was completed seven years later, in the midst of Asian financial crisis and reformacy movement. Due to the soil conditions of the site, the buildings were built on one of the deepest foundations in the world. The building services engineer contractor was Flack Kurtz which is currently part of the WSP Parsons Brinkerhof Company. The 88-story towers were built using mostly reinforced concrete, with steel and glass facades to resemble Islamic motifs which were intended to reflect the official and majority religion of Malaysia. The cross section of the tower resembles Rub al Hizb which further solidifies the Islamic motif in the tower design. Manara Exxon Mobil was completed January 1, 1997 and it is the headquarters of the Malaysian subsidiary of Exxon Mobil, one of the largest listed companies in the world. The 126 meters, 30-story tower is a rectangular-shaped building, with a virtually column-free interior. For aesthetics, the north and south elevations are set back at level 5 while the north elevation facing the public park is further set back at levels 22 and 26. Officially Manor 3 Petronas, this tower is a 60-story tower which was completed in 2012. The tower is connected with the shopping mall's Uria KL. The tower is also designed by Kaiser Pelli with construction started in 2006 and finished in 2012. The tower has a separate entrance facing the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and also has a tunnel link towards Lot D1. Lot D1 will be the site of a future development by the owner, KLCC Properties. Like the Petronas Twin Towers, the building services engineer was Flack Kurtz. The cross section of the tower features two geometric shapes, a square and a rectangle. The rectangle shape in the building starts at the ground floor and extends up to the 40th floor. The triangle shape extends to the top of the tower. At the top of the tower, a crown completes the design. It is expected the crown will hold the tower's company logo. Manara Maxis is the headquarters of Maxis Communications, one of Malaysia's largest telecommunication companies. Suria KLCC is currently the only and main commercial center in the KLCC area. The shopping mall occupies space underneath the Petronas Twin Towers and shares its parking lot with it. The six-story shopping mall was extended to Manor at Karagali in 2011. There are plans to extend the mall to Lot K and also Lot D1 as well. The mall is accessible by KJ10 KLCC LRT station. It also serves as one of the bus hubs for Bundar buses of Rapid KL. The mall also has a tunnel link to Kuala Lumpur Convention Center which in turn connects to Bukit Bintuang Shopping District. 
The building services engineer was Flack Kurtz who is currently part of the WSP Parsons Brinkerhof Company. There are two hotels in the KLCC area. Mandarin Oriental is the main hotel which sits between Surya KLCC and Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. Traders Hotel, which is owned by Patronus and run by Shangri-La Hotels, connects directly with the Convention Center. This hotel has 571 rooms. The KLCC area has a 1,300,000 square foot convention center known as the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. The total function area is around 216,000 square feet. The convention center is directly connected with the Traders Hotel. The Impiana Hotel, which is owned and operated by KLCC Properties, developer of the KLCC area, is connected via a walk bridge. In the master plan, there will be several more buildings to be built near our own convention center area. Binjayan the park is the only residential area in the project. The residential space is two 42-story buildings having an unobstructed view of the Petronas Twin Towers. It is designed by Alan Jack Cotier, the Australian-based architect with regional presence in Malaysia, Vietnam and China. The residential towers is the most expensive in Malaysia with a 19,500 square feet penthouse has been sold for a record RM50 million. Russia At the center of the property lies KLCC Park. The park is one of the last designs of notable Brazilian park designer Roberto Burro Marx. The park holds a jogging track, a public swimming pool, several children's playground and a man-made lake complete with water fountains. The area also has a mosque known as a Syakir in Mosque which has the capacity to hold 12,000 people. Naturally, many religious activities such as Friday prayers are conducted here. Public transport is abundant in the area as it is being served by Kalana J line through the KLCC LRT station. It is also a bus hub for Rapid KL Bus Network, the largest public transport operator in Kuala Lumpur. A dedicated at taxi stand which utilizes the coupon system, is available at the shopping mall entrance. Patrons who do not wish to use the system have the option to walk up to taxi stand which is situated on the main road. Although the area is bordered by five main roads, main road access is through Jalan Ampang, Jalan Sultan Ismail and Ampang Kuala Lumpur Elevated Highway. Akhlai access is quite unique in the sense that the highway has direct tunnel access to the area's underground parking garage while the other road access is drop-off point as well as parking garage access. KLCC also has built a tunnel to connect the area to Jalan Ampang directly. The developer has spent RM100 million as part of its social contribution program to build an elevated, air-conditioned walkway from the KLCC to Bukit Bintuang. District cooling for the entire area is provided by KLCC Cooling, which is situated in Lot 40. The cooling was done via gas-powered turbine generator. This district cooling concept is the first implementation in Malaysia. The engineer for the district cooling center was Flack Kurtz. The plant was renovated and upgraded and activated in 2015. The current capacity is approximately 70,000 tons and has 180,000 ton-hours of ice storage.